Susan, thank you so much for joining us here at Fun Forum International. ESG has been a buzz phrase for quite a long time. How much are we seeing those words turning into actions genuinely now? Well, I think they are actually turning into action. Um, both, uh, well, some, some uh, like fund managers, they've been doing this for a long time and not talking about it. And some have started to talk about it and, and not really done anything. So I think we see all different uh, levels of ESG, actually. Are you seeing genuine commitment to, to integrating this fully into port portfolio management now? Yes, and we are very clear on that. So when we add on new uh, fund managers, we want to see this integrated uh, or a process how they're going to integrate it. Uh, otherwise, we won't be bringing those funds aboard. Why is it so vital and why is it key to, to success in so many ways? I think it's... Um, well, Foxham is an insurance company, so, so we have always had it in our blood, so to speak. And, and for me, with the external funds, it's been a kind of issue. Uh, but the last couple of years, I can really say I've been able to work through the funds. But going back like five years ago, I, I didn't think that uh, we would reach this point that we have today. You talked earlier to me and said that there was now a, a sort of parity in purpose, if you like, that, that there was genuine sort of 50-50, that ESG is, is, is half of what you regard as in, important in terms of picking. Yes, actually, when we have talks with fund managers in a meeting, you, you nearly have to, well, you could have the whole hour speaking about ESG because it's so engaging uh, but but then uh, of course performance is important we are dealing with pension plans and saving plans so the end client won't be happy if we come and say you have had a sustainable portfolio and then sorry no money left so so that's why we have to look at of course performance but I don't think that's a problem anymore because I think it's also a matter of risk mitigation uh, when you work with ESG and then some might argue you can even get more alpha that is not uh, our main issue but if you get it it's not a problem but we need the performance and there is evidence that uh, companies with good ESG outlooks have good performance too yes yes and they are all different kind of uh, uh, well surveys that have been done during the years and you can show all different kind of things but I think uh, focusing on the risk and, and certain sectors that people might divest from going forward. I mean, you see the risks. Are there any areas at the moment that you would regard as being in that territory where we're starting to begin to see them, not so much as sin stocks, but mm. something to be cautious about going forward? Well, I think looking at the energy sector, of course, uh, some might call coal a sin stock, but, but otherwise it's, uh, it's still energy, so, so it's a transformation process. So there I think it's, uh, it's going to be, uh, I don't think you want to stay in coal stocks for too long, actually. And what are you hoping to glean from having a whole day's summit here at Fun Forum dedicated to this area? What do you hope to take away and, and impart to others? Well, uh, for me, this extra day of the Fun Forum was actually quite exciting because, well, the focus on ESG and one of my favorite topics, and I can engage with all the different fund managers that I meet during the day. So, so a lot of different uh, listening to different views and also having good discussions in, in the breaks. And increasingly, do you think the end user is expecting this industry to, to put this at the forefront and to be talking about it at big conferences like this too? Uh, well, thinking of the end client, I mean, they have just sort of woken up, I would say. There are always people who are extra engaged, but looking at our end clients, they just expect Folksum to be sustainable. And so for me, it's an extra responsibility because we haven't been... 100% sustainable compared to the traditional portfolio, working with the external funds. But I mean, uh, going forward, I think we could be as sustainable as the traditional portfolio. Perhaps there's something in us where we all want to feel good about what we're investing in uh, as end yeah. users as well. Yeah, I think uh, end of the day, you want to feel good and, and uh, people are starting to think even in, in the little, you know, you, you shouldn't import water when you can drink tap water, etc. So, so it's like little things that can make a change also. Susan, great to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you.